All right. So are you a Muslim or not? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let us call this guy. He is a Muslim. Let us hear you. What do you want to say to us, my friend? I don't know. You tell me. We're trying to debate about. Well, you are a Muslim, right? Yes. What does that mean? What do you mean what does it mean? It's just, I'm a Muslim, isn't it? What does that mean to be a Muslim? Um, to believe in Allah and the Messenger. To be to believe in Allah. Who is Allah? Um, our God. Who I know that He is your God, but who is Allah? Our God. I know that he is your God, my friend. I'm not asking you who is your God. I'm asking you, if I ask you who is your God, you say Allah. I'm asking you who is Allah. Well, it's like you believe in Jesus, we believe in Allah. You know, so, um, yeah. Yeah, but do you know who is Allah? No, I've never seen him. Have you? Um, okay, but so how you know that, okay, you worship someone, you, his name is Allah, but you do not know him. Of course, I don't. Do you know Jesus? Have you seen him before? No, but Jesus is a real person, isn't he? <coughs> I mean, yeah, but have you seen him? How do you know? Um, how can you believe in something you haven't seen? Well, there seen? is a the, the, you know, thousand and thousand of people witness him, and even historian wrote about him that they, 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 they exist in his time. But Allah, nobody heard of him. And he, yeah, but what? If, even right. your prophet, your prophet, he never saw Allah. Did he see Allah? No, but did you see the father? Did you, um, I mean, you, okay, did you see no, I saw that. Yeah, I saw the father because Jesus, he said, whoever saw me, he saw the father and the disciples of Jesus, they were there and they said to him, show us the father. He said, well, I am with you all this time. You do not know me. Now you're a prophet. He never spoke to Allah. He never heard Allah. Allah never come to him, but yet he is teaching us about well, Allah. Did. So who's Allah? Well, he did through, through the um, angel Gabriel, didn't he? How we know that Gabriel is, uh, is real? Well, yeah, the, oh. But the Quran says so. So no, if you you see my friend, uh, I I want you first to to take into consideration. I'm not trying to insult you. We mention things for a reason. You're a prophet, according to you Muslims, that your prophet was a man who uh, who was bewitched. Do you agree with that? I don't. So here we go. So you are saying you, to me your prophet is lying, because your prophet is the one who mentioned that he was bewitched. So as long your prophet is a person who was bewitched, and even he imagined that things happening, in fact, they never happened, then how we can trust him that he was seeing Jibreel? As you see, the hate in front of you, and this is an authentic story, mentioned by the family of Muhammad, his wife, Aisha, that the prophet, once the prophet was bewitched, so that he began to imagine that he had done a thing, but in fact, he did not. So a person who have, let us say, you are a person applying for a job, and you have a med medical file, it says that this person, he hear voices and he imagine things happening, but in fact, they never happen. They will not give you the job. Don't you agree? Can you show me the evidence for that? What it's, does it say that? It's in the screen, my friend. I'm showing All it right, on the screen. Okay, let me see the screen. <clears throat> what I can see is that um, God knows best what he means by this letter. oh maybe uh, maybe you need to refresh your pay uh it's going maybe take time it's okay refresh your page in youtube just to be right. sure you mute youtube please can you, me, can you show me the reference to that sure sure here we go let us see we click at the reference this is sahir bukhari and this is the number so now how we can trust muhammad to be seeing jibreel the guy you call him jibreel Maybe this guy he's imagining. Well, um, there are many um, miracles that Muhammad did in it. So, like for example, what? like what? How, he was illiterate. So, how can he? How can someone illiterate write a book like that? But this, mean, this book is a crazy book. What are you talking about? It's full of uh, mad, crazy stuff. Well, well, that's what, that's your opinion. No, my not my opinion. You to choose from me one thing in this Quran. You said you, you said miracle. Show me one one thing there is right. So how can um, how can Muhammad like? <clears throat> He's an literal person. How can he write something like that? My friend, first of all, your prophet, he never wrote anything. According to Muslims, the one who collected the Quran, it was a guy, his name was Uthman. And yet we don't have the book of Uthman. We have according to, according to, according to, a guy, his name is Hafs. And Hafs was accused by the Muslim that he's a fraud and he was a thief. And I can show you the reference. So when you say to me, a prophet who wrote this book, you don't even have a book. Secondly, Name for me one thing in the Quran is accurate, is not an error, and is not crazy. Give me an example of the miracles you mentioned. Well, like you say, like a book, like this book. The what? fingertips. The fingertips. Fingertips were in the Quran. Speak fingertips. This is a lie. Nobody says you, fingertips. Do you mean it's a lie? Fingertips about what? Fingertips about cutting fingertips, right? No. 
What about then? What about what? What do you mean? How 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 could how could he know um, years ago about the fingertips? What what the fingertips? Fingertips is a is a word in the language. It's not a big deal. Maybe you maybe you mean fingerprint. Oh yeah, fingerprint. Sorry, my bad. Ah, fingerprint, my friend. This is a big fat lie. There's nowhere in the Quran it says that Muhammad he speak about uh, uh, you know uh, fingerprint. Can you give me the verse so we can laugh together? Yeah, sure. Give me a second. Mm, go ahead. <coughs> um, um, okay. 70, Take 75 time. verse. Chapter 75? Verse 4 of the Quran. That's wonderful. I want you to see and look with me in the screen and don't laugh. Where in here speak about fingerprints? I this one, say. this one doesn't say, it doesn't say, it says, no, so we banana who, which means we put his bones together. There's no mentioning of skin at all. We put the bones of even the fingers together. Where is the fingertips? Where is it? Sorry, I mean the fingerprint. It's a lie. The Muslim, my friend, with my respect to you, they lie to each other and they fool people. They make up stories. It's not there. What is where it says this uh, fingerprint? Where is that? It says, "Bala qadirina ala an banana," which means yes, we are able to put the human being together, even his fingers, uh, bones, which is very small. We can put them together. There's no fingerprint. There's no skin. There's nothing. So where they where where they add they add all this uh, fingertips story to the story? It's a lie, and this is why I actually I believe Islam is a satanic religion because if Islam is not satanic. Why those who follow Islam, they lie and fabricate stories to make me believe in Islam? I assure you that the one who made up this story, he knew that this verse doesn't say that. Well, that's what I've been told. I see, my friend, I'm not saying you are a liar, my friend. I'm saying the one who told you that is a liar. And you can see that in front of you. Do you agree? Um, Give me something yeah. else. Give me something else. Forget about this one. <clears throat> Was, was was Muhammad not illiterate? Okay, let us talk about Muhammad being illiterate. First of all, if Muhammad is illiterate, there is a story in the hadith says that when the angel came to him, he said to him, read, correct? Yes. Okay, let me ask you, my friend. I don't know you with my respect to you. Uh, remember, I'm not trying to insult you. You do not know to, how to read. And suppose that I'm an angel, which means I know.